walking through the Salesforce trailhead uh, focused on website integration uh, for the volunteer management system. This is step four, configuring data access and visual force pages. And what you'll see is, is that we're back in the site section. This is from setup, look at sites uh, here. And then in this case, what I'm doing is selecting the volunteer site. Uh, I'm going to be doing public access settings. And then we're going to be going in under visual force page access. I'm then going to click edit. And what you're presented with at that point is the list of possible pages that you can pull across. And so what we're going to be doing is pulling across the job calendar and also the site contact, site contact lookup calendar, job listing, report hours template. Uh, we also need the, uh, the Espanol version. Um, and then what we do is, is at this point, uh, what I've been doing is holding the control key to do the shift. So I'm going to go on ahead and just move those across. And then what I can do is to pick up again uh, farther down, because I'm going to pick up, in this case, the job listing and the FS, report hours, sign up, and sign up FS. Again, I'm holding down the control key and doing left clicks, and then I click Add. Looking at the full list, then I have uh, it makes it match with the, with what the trailhead's saying, so we're in good shape there. So we're going to click Save. Having added the Visual Force pages, we're then going to do a um, we're going to go to the, we're going to me, me, we're going to work on some objects. So we're going to do is go to the the profile overview. We're then going to click on the object settings. And in this case, we're going to go after accounts. Select edit. And then what we're doing is selecting the, the, the read and the create object permissions and then clicking save. Then you want to follow the matrix in the trailhead as to what all needs to be edited. But in this case, we're going to be going after volunteer hours because that's the one that has uh, a kind of additional information that we want to make sure we're capturing. So I'm looking here for volunteer hours. So I'm going to select that one. And then what you'll see is we're going to again edit it. And what we have is uh, a bunch more permissions that we can add. In this case, they're suggesting what we're doing is, is read, create, and edit. And then we save that as well. Setting the default time zone is the last step. And since we're here, uh, let's go on ahead and work that through real quick. Again, what we're doing is going into volunteers. And then what we're doing is uh, basically assign users so we go to public access settings and then assign users. Click edit. And then you want to change this time, which is currently Greenwich Mean. Uh, I'm on the East Coast, so let's go on ahead and set that up uh, as New York and then save it. And we're done. On to the next stages.